One day after people. In the heart of Manhattan, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York still guards the vast wealth of depositors who will never return to claim it. It holds more than half a million gold bars worth roughly $200 billion, the accumulated wealth of some 60 foreign governments and central banks. There is more gold in the basement of the Federal Reserve Bank in Manhattan than has been gathered any other place on Earth and any other time in history. The gold is stored 80 feet below street level. The narrow opening to the vault is protected by a rotating 90-ton steel cylinder that forms an air and watertight seal with the surrounding 140-ton steel and concrete frame. The gold lasts pretty much forever. The whole point of having gold is that it doesn't corrode and doesn't tarnish. And there's nothing in nature that can dissolve gold. Gold is one of the most non-reactive metals on Earth. So when it's exposed to air or water, its molecules resist disintegration. Buried in the ground beneath their feet, a corroding steel crypt holds tight to its precious contents. Once 80 feet below street level, the Federal Reserve Gold Vault is now hundreds of feet underground and inundated with water from rising sea levels. Inside, the largest stockpile of gold ever assembled on Earth remains well preserved. They're underground, but they're encased in steel. Now, steel uh, will be much less happy underground. If you look at archaeological iron steel implements, on the surface they rust. Underground, they tend to pit and corrode. Although the steel will eventually corrode, the gold bars themselves should last not just for thousands of years, but even millions. When the future archaeologists find it, they're going to wonder about the culture that built such an amazing temple and sanctuary. The 24 karat gold will live on as a precious metal. Once mined, molded and guarded by humans, it has now returned to the earth in a life after people.